schematic from an audio preamp is far too much bass. So a real loudness circuit. And you can compensate the high frequencies with another potentiometer in the circuit. And that's here. I want to demonstrate that. Here you see the whole circuit, completely experimental. Uh, I don't have to explain that for everyone that likes to look at my videos. Anyway, this is the end audio amp and for all the people that follow my videos, instead of the 4K7 potentiometer at the BD139 from the end amplifier, I've mounted here now two fixed value resistors from 2K2. It gives much more stability. It means that the amplifier takes a quite amount of current, say 200 milliampere, quiescent current, but anyway. Uh, this is the best position to do to um, keep the, the amplifier in a good mode. Anyway, the circuit here, CD player in, one microfarad cap, 100k potentiometer, 10k potentiometer, one microfarad non-polar cap, coupling capacitor to the first audio stage with the BC547B. Here we set a course level that can lead to uh, distortion. Uh, it also gives cracking sounds, but I think that doesn't matter because you have to align that once. I want to demonstrate it now with a music uh, file that does not have so much potential. That's a problem. I wanted to demonstrate it with the CD player, but yesterday I got a copyright copyright claim from YouTube etc etc. So let's play it simple in Albany, New York. I hope it works. <laughs> And I think you can clearly hear that the bass frequencies are amplified much more. And the very, very peculiar thing about this circuit is that you can align high here with that, that 10k potentiometer. I had not expected it, but of course the whole circuit here acts as a kind of filter, audio filter. So here. I can align the high frequencies. Let's try to do that. Well, that was enough. Uh, it's a real, a real uh, loudness circuit with much bass, so meant to play audio files on a very low output level in your living room. That's what it's all about. And I've already told it, that, but this, this potentiometer creates creaking sounds, but you have to align it once. And here all the other components. I use always non-polar caps to prevent that current flows into the very sensitive uh, base connection from the transistor.